Welcome to the American Girl Doll Baking Competition. We have five lovely bakers here and two judges. Who will win and who will lose? Hi, I am Luciana and I have always enjoyed baking. But the thing with baking is I really like to find the sciencey part of it. I love science and I also love baking, so combined, they're a good pair. I really hope I win this prize. Hey, I'm Julie, and I have always loved baking, and I, my favorite things to bake are pastries, and my favorite pastry is probably croissants. And I just really hope that I win this challenge. Hey, I'm Tenny, and I really like baking. I really enjoy making homemade ice cream. I really hope I win this prize. I just really want to prove that I can win. Hey, I'm Nikki, and I really like baking, and I am so glad that I got this opportunity to be here on the American Girl Baking Competition. Um, I really hope I win because I, I'm a really good baker, and I... I want to show that to the world, and I just really hope that I win. Hey, I'm Courtney, and I I really like to bake. I really hope I win because I can prove to my sister that I am a winner. Meet our judges, Todd and Catherine. Hi, I am Todd, and I have always loved baking, and I cannot wait to see what these bakers can do. The rules for this baking challenge are you will have two hours for every competition and one baker gets to use the kitchen at one time. I'm so excited, Todd. I cannot wait to see what these bakers can come up with. Your first challenge is to bake a cake pop of any flavor, but it has to pair along with strawberries and it cannot be chocolate flavored. Good luck, bakers. Courtney, you are going first. Your time begins now. Okay, I gotta start quick. Okay, what am I going to bake? Okay, I gotta get my pan out quick. Okay, let's start mixing up my cake batter because that's the most important. Make a cake pop by making any cake batter. But since it needs to be in a ball, like a cookie, you would add frosting to the cake mixture once you have crumbled the cake up, once it's baked. And then you can coat it with frosting and there's your cake pop. Okay, I need an egg. Okay, I need three eggs into the mixture. So we've got one, two, and we need a third one. Three. Okay, I need sugar. I'm mixing my batter up and everything is starting to come along. I have already used 30 minutes of my time, so I really hope that I have time to decorate my cake pop. My cake pops are ready to get out. And they look perfect. I baked them for the perfect amount of time. I'm so happy that everything is turning out. Once I've added frosting to the mixture, I start rolling my cake balls out. My cake balls are done, and now we need to stick the cake pop sticks in them. Now that I'm sticking some of my sticks in, I start to notice that some of the balls are way too large and just flatten out. This is bad. This is really bad. I really don't want to get out on this first challenge, but I really need to reinforce my cake pops. So I reinforce it by just taking some of that dough off. This should really help lighten up the weight. All of my cake pops are ready, and I just have five minutes left to do some final touches. I need to neaten up my dough balls. Courtney, your time is up. Hands off of your creations. Woo. I really hope that the judges appreciate my mixed berry flavored cake pops. Wow, Todd, her cake pops look beautiful. Courtney, come on in. Hi, Todd. Hi, Catherine. 
Today I have made for you mixed berry flavored cake pops. Well, Courtney, your cake pops do look delicious, and I can tell that you tried very hard. But I am noticing some flaws. They look like giant sewing pins. I agree with Todd. They do look a little odd because your cake pops are so small, but yet your sticks are so big. So when, in my bakery, when we make cake pops, what we do is we make sure that the sizes match up. So that was one of your problems here. Your sizes don't really match up. Giant sewing pins? Is that supposed to be a compliment? I don't think so. Let's just hope that my cake pops taste so good. Wow, Courtney, these cake pops are so amazing. And it is difficult to make a mixed berry cake because you never want seeds in your cake. And this is just amazing. I am so thrilled on how delicious these cake pops are. And I love the simple vanilla frosting on top. I think you did so good, Courtney. You did such a splendid job making this cake because as Todd said, it is very hard to make a mixed berry cake, but I think that you nailed it, girl. Good job, Courtney. Yes, they loved my cake. This is so good. I might win this competition. Luciana, your time starts now. I am making caramel flavored cake pops. Okay, let's begin on my batter. So you have to make the caramel before um, you bake your cake. Once my caramel is done, I pour it into my batter and start mixing it up. I'm mixing my caramel into my batter and it's not mixing. I don't know how I'm going to make my cake pop if it's not mixing. This is really bad. <sighs> so... I need to add some water. I cannot. It needs to be thinner. Okay, let's mix this up and hope it works. Luckily, the water helped thin the caramel out and now it can mix into the batter. I need to get my batter into the oven because already an hour has passed. I need time to decorate my cake pops. Oh no. When my batter comes out of the oven, I realize that it's dry. Hopefully the judges will accept that and I won't be out of the competition. Luciana, your time is up! I really hope the judges can accept my cake pops. Todd, Catherine, today I have made caramel flavored cake pops with a vanilla frosting. Um, Luciana, your presentation isn't very pretty. Can you tell us about that? I ran out of time to decorate it and make it look pretty, um, so my presentation is not very good. I like your creativity, Luciana, but next time, you need to make sure that your presentation is good. Let's eat! Luciana, your cake is a little dry and the caramel has a weird aftertaste to it. Good job, Luciana. I love your caramel cake pops. So the aftertaste, it's odd. It tastes thin. It's just, I don't know. It tastes watery. I did have to thin out my caramel to add it into my batter. So that might be why you're getting that aftertaste. Well, Luciana, when you are adding caramel to batter, you don't want to thin it out because that will just give it a weird aftertaste. And so what you do is you just put the mixer on high speed and just mix it until it mixes in. But overall, Luciana, these taste amazing. Good job. Tenny, your time starts now! Today, I'm getting creative and I'm doing pumpkin cake pops. I really hope that the judges appreciate my pumpkin. I add my pumpkin spice. I mix up my batter and I realize I don't have a lot, so hopefully I have enough to make my cake pops. I need to get my cake in the oven immediately. Time is ticking. 
Soon enough, my cake pops are ready. I realized that I put the oven at the wrong temperature. Now they are very underbaked. This is awful. Your time is up. Whew. Right, Tenny, what do you have for us today? Today, judges, I have for you pumpkin cake pops. Um, Tanya, as much as I love pumpkin, I, I don't think it pairs with strawberry. I agree with Catherine, Tenny. I don't really think you met the challenge. <coughs> oh. Oh. Todd bites into my cake pop and raw dough falls out. Tenny, your cake pops are raw. Tenny, I, bu I bit into my cake pop and raw dough spilt out. This is not good. Tenny, this is not good for you. I can't believe I messed up this bad on my first challenge. Bully, your time starts now. When I first walk into the kitchen, it's like paradise for me. I am making blueberry cake pops. I put blueberries in a blender and blend them up. I blended berries into my batter. And then it's oven time. Soon enough, my cake pops are ready and my cake is ready to be out of the oven. When I am crumbling my cake, I realize that it's super dense. This is not good. Uh, oh no, my cake. The cake crumbles and it's ready. Julie, your time is up. I don't have a lot of cake pops because I ran out of time. Hopefully this will impress the judges. Julie, tell us about your cake pops. Today, Todd and Catherine, I have two beautiful blueberry flavored cake pops with a blueberry vanilla frosting. Well, your cake pops are beautiful, and I think that blueberries match with strawberries very well. Good job. Wow, Julie, these taste amazing. I love the beautiful blueberry flavor in it, and the frosting just makes it even better. Good job. Yes, Julie, I cannot find anything wrong with this. This is so amazing. But however, you only gave us two cake pops. Next time, give as much as you can. Thank you, judges. Vicky, your time starts now! The first thing that pops in my head when I think of pairing with strawberry besides chocolate is lemonade. I'm making lemonade-flavored cake pops. I add my sugar, my egg, and my butter. I take my lemon, cut it in half, and squeeze the juice into my cake batter. And then I mix it up. And then, once my oven is preheated, I put it in the oven, and it's baking. When my cake balls come out of the oven, they are baked perfectly. Your time is up! Today, judges, I have lemonade-flavored cake pops. Wow, Nikki, these cake pops look like they were baked perfectly. Wow, Nikki, those cake pops are amazing, but I'm not getting too much lemon. I agree with Catherine. There is lemon there. There's just not enough of it. So next time you want to make sure that you add in enough lemon. Thank you so much, judges. It's time to decide who's winning and who's leaving. I have made my decision. Bakers, come on in. Bakers, all of you did well today. Even though you might have had flaws, you all did very well. There were two bakers that really stood out today. Those bakers are... Nikki and Julie! Even though the two of you both did amazing, there can only be one winner. And the winner of this competition is... Julie! Congratulations, Julie. Thank you so much. Julie, now that you have won this competition, your prize is 10 extra minutes in the next challenge. Nikki, you are safe. 
there is one more baker that will be safe and will continue on to the next challenge. That baker is... Courtney! And sadly, this leaves Luciana and Tenny in the bottom two. Please step up. Luciana, your cake pops were delicious but had a weird aftertaste to them. Tenny... Your cake pops were super underbaked and did not go well with strawberries. The baker leaving us today is... Tenny. I'm so sorry. We were so glad to have you here in the first round. Thank you for participating, Tenny. I'm really sad that I am leaving today, but I had a great time baking. Thank you, American Girl Competition, for inviting me. I, it's been a great time.